Hi, welcome to this Way to Fire YouTube video. It's Andy and I am taking the crew of the Siggy's Revenge on their next mission on the planet of Macon 9. So last time we were able to complete our mission. It was a bit of a temporary mission because we were attacked by some of our rivals from the Graton gang but we managed to see them off and they didn't manage to damage our ship, the Siggy's Revenge. So this time we um, decided to do a few different things in town. A little bit of training for Hanso. She, uh, on the left there, she uh, gained her toughness up to five, which is pretty cool. Uh, should hopefully keep her alive. Um, did a little bit of trading, did a little bit of uh, checking out new patrons, found a new patron. Uh, and in fact, regained uh, the patron we had for the first game who we lost because we didn't actually do their patron mission. So that's the little green man from sector government. Um, a few other things we had to do. So we had to pay upkeep on our ship. I've paid off a little bit of debt on the ship. So I just have 16 credits of debt now, which is pretty good. Um, of the uh, other things that we did, so Trey, uh, who's there with the big gun and the yellow shoulder pads, he um, went to see the patron, and he got two jobs, actually. One from Councillor Laronidicus, who works for the Stella Liberum. Uh, and he's given us an immediate job. The only major factor is that we get plus three credits for doing the job. Uh, and then the other job on offer was the little green man who works for the Oracles. And he's given us two credits, potentially. Um, but we can do that this turn or next turn. So we might save that one for next time. Um... Jason, um, he's the guy with the pistol and the knife. He has recruited an extra member of the team. So on the far right there you can see Granite Van Danicus. So he's our new member of the team. I'm not sure if taking our team up to seven is a good idea. I haven't lost anyone yet, but I thought it might be sensible to do. We're not short of cash at the minute. And if someone were to die or something, then we'd have a spare. Although he's a very basic human with just a handgun. Um, the other things that we did, Losanon explored, uh, he gets a bonus in the next time we look for patrons or to see off rivals. KR08, who's the big red one with a shotgun on the right, he explored and got a reward. And the reward was that when fighting I can select a terrain feature and if a crew member um, moves into contact and spends a combat action I can retrieve a package and earn two credits so I'll pick something under the table when we get to that and AZ13 who's the um, lighter red colour he did some starship found some traded sorry for some starship repair parts and has got four credits worth of hull repair damage stuff which I can use once I haven't taken any hull damage but I get the feeling that that might be a possibility, so having four credits worth of uh, repairing already in the bag is pretty sweet. So, I chose to do Councillor Laronidicus, his mission. He has asked us to undertake a um, delivery mission. So, Losanon, marked with a little green tag there, he is delivering something inside his fancy little box okay um, and he's going to deliver it to the central terminal in the middle of the table and I rolled for our opposition it is hired muscle and we got two rage lizard mercs I was pretty lucky I'll be honest again actually on the number of opponents with just two I rolled two dice you rolled two D, uh, a d6 twice and I got and you take the highest number I got a two both dice. These guys are tactical with one has an infantry laser and one has a hand laser. They are pretty tough but the fact there's only two of them and I'm taking my six of course I'll leave the new guy at base camp um, should hopefully mean that I come out successfully. So let's see how it goes. So here we are in the wastelands of Madoc 9. Councillor Larondicus has given Losanon some important information that you must take to this terminal here in the centre of this rocky tower. 
but the hired muscle defending it is a, a lizard with a handgun and another lizard over there with an infantry laser. So just two, I put them in two teams. And then 18 inches away I have deployed, so we've got AZ-13 here. We've got Trey and Hanso there, Losen on, uh, Jay's on and KR-08 over that side. So uh, my plan is to eliminate the enemy. If I eliminate the enemy then I don't need to upload the thing, I automatically get to do that. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, the other thing is that in this mission I am surprised, so I will go slow in the first round. So I won't roll my reaction tests because the enemy will get to go before me. Whatever. So let's get on with it. So being tactical, they move half range. Uh, they can't really get a shot off there. The hand pistol is too short and then the laser rifle is also too uh, can't see over all the terrain because I chose where to deploy. So now it's over to me at the end of the first round to do my slower movement. So this um, AZ-13 is going to move up there. He's then going to shoot over at a uh, guy shooting over the terrain. Um, so he's going to need a six at that range on an infantry laser. No combat, so he just needs a six to hit. No, he hasn't hit, so that's fine. Then we're going to move... Let's see, I just really want to take someone out if possible. So uh, Trey is going to move up there and use his rattle gun. He's also going to need sixes to hit. Um, it's in range. There is some terrain to shoot over, but sixes will be fine. Uh, he doesn't get any, so that's that. Hanso will do likewise, and she'll shoot over on a single dice. Nope, also misses. So, not going great at the moment. Um, I think Losanon is actually going to change a little bit and head over this way, keeping hidden behind here. Um, what am I going to do this side? I'm a bit cautious of going to... These guys have both got quite short-range weapons. Um, Jason's going to dash. He is going to dash. So Jason has dashed up to behind this rock, but of course... To dash, he's made his normal move, and then a few extra inches, uh, two extra inches, by using up his combat action, he isn't going to go any further. Oh, I should have said, so the thing I want to get to and find the next thing is this ammo table. I think if I get to that, I'll get those extra credits that I said. The last model to go is KR-08. Um, I'm not sure what to do with KR-08. I really am not. He's just going to move cautiously up to there, I think, for now. Although I'd forgotten, I actually he has a shotgun, but also a fury rifle. So a fury rifle is in range. Uh, there's definitely some cover. So um, I think 24 inch range. It only has one dice, but I do have a combat of one. So I need a five or a six to hit, and it does two damage if I do hit. Yes. Okay. So that's good. Now I need to roll the damage. So, um, the Fury Rifle is actually heavy, so I did need a 6, a minus 1 to hit, but I've got Combat 1, so actually I did roll a 6, so it's all fine. Now, um, the Fury Rifle does damage 2, so his toughness of 5 goes down to a 3. So, a 3 or more, and he's taken out. Come on! Yes! So, bye-bye, Mr. Lizard. Already, my luck is still holding, like in the first game, I've taken out one of the opponents in the first round. Okay. So round two, we do reactions. So uh, ones and twos is what I'm after. I got two ones. So all the humans are on... Well, anyone can have a one, actually, to be honest. So um, who do I want? I want to take out this guy. So I want to deal with him. The trick is I'd like to get those credits, but I'd prefer to win the scenario to be sure of that. So I'll put the one and one on these two because I think they have a chance of taking him out. So that's uh, AZ-13 and um, Trey. I think if they manage to deal with him, then I'll take the win for the scenario. So, okay, I get to go before him. So let's start with AZ-13. He's going to need a six, but he'll aim, so I can re-roll ones. Oh, well, that's handy. Uh... But only if I get a six! Oh, yes! So I've managed to hit him. 
that's very good. So no modifier to damage. So a five um, or a six will take him out. A six always takes people out, and he's on a five. So no. So I have added a stun though. Okay, and it will knock him back an inch. Okay, right. I'm pretty happy with that. Next will be Trey. Trey will try and do the damage as well. So Trey has a combat of one. It would normally be six. He's shooting over terrain. Three dice for the uh, rattle gun he has. So uh, fives I will need on three dice. I got two hits. Amazing. Okay, so two hits. There's no um, combat damage. I could have re-rolled ones because he has a battle visor. A heavy doesn't count because I haven't moved and no point in aiming because I've got a battle visor. Uh, so I will just roll damage. I need a five or a six, a single five or a single six. Oh, I've taken him out already. Two shots, two rounds, just a few shots and he is also gone. Bye bye, Mr. Fat Lizard. Okay. Right, so that means that the mission is successful. That was a very, very quick mission. So, uh, obviously, we know opponents. Loson on, heads over to the terminal, uploads the information that he needs to do, and we'll come back in a minute with a debrief. So, I've got to be honest. That was pretty quick. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that quick. Um, obviously I got very lucky with there being just two opponents. I thought they were going to be a lot tougher opposition, those lizards, than um, they proved to be. I obviously got a little bit lucky with the shooting as well. But anyway, that's, uh, that's what happened. So um, obviously we have completed the delivery mission for our patron Laronodicus. Van Dornen, the local government um, councillor who um, is working for the Stella Liberum faction of our uh, universe spanning story arc. Um, so that's good, of course. So none of my crew were injured. Um, now, what you do afterwards is you work out how much you get. So I got my normal pay, which was a d6 of credits, so I got five for that, and an extra three credits for doing the mission. That was the danger money that the councillor Leronidicus um, offered. Um, then I search for um, the battlefield. I found a hand pistol, so one of the um, lizard's hand pistols was still um, hand laser. Sorry, was still in use, so I've given that to Hanso Kindongo. Uh, we then worked out experience, so everybody. Apart from the robots, everybody who took part in the battle gets three experience because I won and they all survived uh, or weren't injured. And I would normally get an extra one for the person who did the first kill, but that was one of the bots. So the bots don't gain any experience. But actually, having done well in the last mission, that meant that Hanso had already gained a point of toughness before by having enough experience for that. Jason uh, Tranik uh, increased his speed. His speed's now up to six because... He's more of a combat orientated guy um, with his stun pistol. He wants to get in close to people. He's got his uh, um, a knife as well for brawling. Uh, Trey Hanan gained a point of toughness as well. So he's now got toughness four. And so did Lo Sanon. He's gone from a measly toughness two to toughness three. He can only ever be toughness four because they're quite slight uh, engineers, uh, alien engineers. So what else happened? Um, so Losanon, when he was uploading the information that uh, the council had sent him to do, um, he actually also found a, a bit of data code which has led him to a rumour of something else going on. So we'll see if that plays out later on in the campaign. And then the other thing that I do is you do a campaign event, and I found that, unfortunately, when I got back to the Siggy's Revenge, my ship, I found that the life support system was in significant need of upgrading and that's going to cost me three of the credits that I earned. So my net gain would have been eight but minus three for the life support system it takes it down to just five. Now the life support system would have been worse except that I do have an engineer in Los Anon so I saved a credit by having him. So not only is he able to deliver, uh, kill people like in the last mission 
complete the objectives, he also saves me cash as well. So I've got a net gain of five credits, which is not bad because I'm actually getting fairly well through the cost of my ship. I'd quite like to pay for my ship and then have a little bit more freedom to do stuff. Um, yeah, so that went very, very well. Um, nothing else really going on. I was surprised how quick it was. I suspect I've had two lucky games so far with low numbers of opponents. I'm sure it's all going to come back to bite me very, very soon. But that was the end of game two of five parsecs from home with the Siggy's Revenge. And of course, please listen out for the Way to Fire podcast. Check out the other Way to Fire videos and look at the Way to Fire Facebook page and the Way to Fire Hobby Hangout Facebook page, which is where you can post up what you're working on, all the cool stuff that you've been painting and playing with. Um, great. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.